Today, we're going to practice proportional reasoning using the question, how many compared to the whole? Although there are many ways to represent the possible solutions to this question, we are going to start by making sure you are comfortable representing your thinking using fractions. We will also explore ways you might use equivalent fractions to communicate your solutions more simply and clearly. Let's start by trying an example together. Today, it's going to be all about the square tiles. If we're going to tackle the question, how many compared to the whole, the first step is to figure out what the whole is. Take a moment and examine this rectangle. How many squares in the whole rectangle? Pause and share your ideas. Next is to choose a part to compare it to. Let's take the blue tiles. Take a moment and count them. Now the thing about fractions is that they have a nice basic system for recording the part compared to the whole. The denominator is for recording the whole. The numerator is for recording the part. Again, nice and easy. Pause and record the fractions for the blue tiles, green tiles, yellow tiles, and red tiles. Okay, let's see. You should have ended up with 10 fifteenths for blue tiles, 3 fifteenths for the green, and 1 fifteenth for each of the yellow and red tiles. The next step is an important one. We're going to simplify each fraction if we can. This makes communication much clearer. What is a simplified fraction? Well, you might say that a simplified fraction is an equivalent fraction in lowest terms. What on earth is that? Well, why don't you pause the video and take a little time to discuss. All right, I think it's best if I just show you. To make an equivalent fraction, I'm going to take the same amount and just group it a little differently. Watch. There. See that? Same amount, different groupings. Now you can say I have created three equal groups and two of them are blue. So instead of 10 fifteenths, I now have a simplified fraction. Can you tell what it is? Pause and discuss. After counting the new groupings, the new equivalent fraction is two thirds. You can also use an equation to show that you divided the part and the whole into groups of five in this case. How many groups were formed? When I divide the numerator into groupings of five, I end up with two groups. When I divide the denominator into groupings of five, I end up with one, two, three groups in the whole. The fraction, again, two thirds. Watch as I simplify the other fractions. Pause the video and discuss it when you need to. Okay, you might have been able to see that I decided to divide them up into groupings of three this time. And I ended up with one grouping that is green and five in the whole, creating a fraction of one fifth. Can I simplify the remaining fractions? Take some time and discuss this with the group. Okay, time for you to try one on your own. You're going to figure out the fraction of each color in this rectangle and then simplify each fraction. Or in other words, express each fraction using an equivalent fraction in lowest terms. If you have some square tiles around, it can be very handy for helping you find these equivalent fractions. And here is one more for you to try. Good luck, everyone. 